3D printing is insanely fun and super addicting. And if you're like me, it doesn't just stop with one and done. <laughs> Since Christmas, I picked up the Bamboo X1C and I now have kind of a small wall of printers. I'm up to six printers in a fairly short amount of time. Sold a few RCs to pick up more printers. And you know, you're constantly browsing the internet for files like these very cool little guys here, this jet dinosaur, this little donut sea turtle. Just, it's fun. And especially if you have kids or your wife is into it like me also, uh, then it's fun for the family. And so that's another reason we picked up more printers. But there's always the question, and I get this with our videos. I've had people message me and say, hey Nate, well I love that little T-Rex. I'd like to buy that off of you. Will you take the time to, you know, download the file, put it on your printer, take the filament, make the thing and then send it to me? And unfortunately, most of the time the answer is no. And that's because I don't have a commercial license for this little knitted T-Rex dinosaur. So what you can do if you want to print and make and sell your own things is invent something like I did. It took me over a month of, uh, I don't know, 15 or more trials of making something, failing, and then making adjustments. And this is a simple blocky item. This is a sunshade for an RC transmitter that allows you to see your screen better while you're flying. That's one way to do it, but that's very time consuming. And if I were to make something like this dinosaur, That'd probably take me six months to make. So uh, anyway, not everybody wants to invent their own thing. So I found a website and that's where this box of goodies back here, the Frito-Lay Munchies box comes into play because all my 3D printed goodies over the last month have come from STL Flicks. I made some solid color printed dinosaurs for my son, who's two, to play with. You know, these probably cost me a dollar fifty or less in filament, and I wanted to find something that was solid color. Now, the beautiful thing about STL Flix is that for fifteen dollars a month, you have instant access to, I think, over a thousand files. Don't hold me to that number, but it's a lot, and they're all great files because they're test printed by the crew. Now. Those dinosaurs are some of the earliest models that they offer from whenever they started their business. Just recently they released this little flexi skeleton fox and it prints in place with no supports believe it or not. First try I had a very high success rate on these. Now the head and the tail do print separately on the same bed so you pop them off the bed and then click them into place. That's super cool. Now in this video, I plan to show you a lot of the things that I 3D printed, but the crazy thing is, I've not been able to keep up with my printers the pace at which they are releasing things. Just recently, they released this amazing Wii controller. You put the little side controller that's on the Wii into this, and now you have a full-size controller. Now this one I haven't popped off my supports yet, but the amazing design and detail that went into this kind of looks like something from Zelda in my opinion, but it has a very like natural look to it. Wood and moss and the grass texture on that is really beautiful. I think they did an outstanding job on that. But they also released like a pink bubblegum version and then like a red version too. And not just the controller, but they have like a stand for the Wii and everything. They released like nine or 10 of those different files all in the same day. And just a few days later, they had, I think, these little skeleton animals, like the sloth. I love the skeleton sloth. I think that is very cool. He has little hook hands and he can hang anywhere that you put him and you can even hook a couple of them together and hang them together. His head printed separately and then you put that on. And yeah, super cool. Now, the big question in play here, I think a lot of times people have is with these files, what if I do have a friend or a family member that wants to buy them off of me? Now, you do what you want, but I would discourage anyone from printing a file that doesn't have a commercial license and trying to sell it. A lot of times the creator of that file will offer a subscription-based model that allows you to have the commercial license for the file. But the beautiful thing about STL Flix is they offer two different versions of their files, or at least two subscription models. 
while you have the active subscription for $15 a month to be able to print whatever you want, um, you always have access to their upcoming files that are being released very regularly. Lately, it seems like two drops every week or so. But what if you do want to sell the, the giant serpent with the mouth that opens and closed, super articulated, print in place, multi-colored, very long, cool 3D printed file? What if, you want to, what if you want to go to a flea market locally and just set up on a table and see if anybody wants to buy your stuff? Maybe you can get 10 bucks for this serpent. STL Flix also offers commercial license for their files for $30, it's like $29.99. And the crazy thing is you get instant, unlimited access to all those files for that price point, and it lets you sell any of these any way you want. You can go to flea markets, you can set up in stores, you can sell them online. They even give you media files to use to sell those if you want to use them on your store. So like really nice, uh, high quality, high resolution pictures to use on your Etsy store, for example. Now, I love these little alligators because they were a good example of something that can print in one color, print in place with no supports, super articulated, and nothing feels flimsy at all on it. This would be a really good kid's toy that you could set up and sell somewhere. I think mainly the rest of this video, I'm just gonna basically show you some of the cool stuff. Like one of their very first files was this fossil. And it printed really well. I actually printed this one. This is the only one that I printed. Uh, well, now there's one more thing that I printed on the Elegoo because I wanted to make sure that it worked on other printers too, not just bamboo. But I will say they work extremely well on Bamboo Lab printers. I love this little Lucy the Poison Dart Frog. The reason I printed it is because I wanted to try scaling something. So I believe the smaller one was the original size. I might have scaled that down. And then this bigger one, I scaled up to the maximum size that I could get. And I think they both turned out really good. You'll probably notice too that I print multiples of these things. And oftentimes I do that just because if I know the file turned out well, uh, I like to be as efficient with my filament as I can. So multicolor stuff, especially if you can fit more than one thing, like these very cool little stitched bunnies, if you can fit multiples of those on the bed, and it's gonna be way more efficient when it comes to the waste of your filament. They, they have some amazing files though, and I like the things that people are constantly looking for, and then they also have just unique things that probably you never would have thought of. Like these super cute gnomes. There's a Mr. and Mrs. Acorn and a uh, Maple, I think their names are, uh, but they look really cool if you're into gnomes. And the, the filament color that I chose, I think made them look exactly like little pottery uh, garden gnomes, super cool. Now I love how these baby articulated dragons turned out. They print in place, are flexible, and they also have no supports, which seems to be kind of the <clears throat> trend for most of their stuff, but sometimes the more advanced prints like this controller, it definitely needed supports and I've still been working on picking off the supports on that one, but man, it turned out so good. So they have a lizard file and I wanted to scale that one up as big as I could on my Elegoo and that turned out really well. I think one of my favorites here is this little armadillo. It's extremely cute very flexible. It prints in like three or four different pieces and of course it rolls up into a little ball and they even give you a display stand that you can print and it sits on. Turned out awesome. <laughs> now you guys know our channel is primarily focused on RC stuff. That's why our name is called the RC Sailors. But there's a huge crossover with 3D printing and remote control stuff, which I've realized and I absolutely love. Whether you're doing ground vehicles, airplanes, drones, there's so many things that people are constantly making that I see online that are very inspirational, I think are great ideas, and it's just fun. And that's kind of the point of all of this. But every now and then it gets a little frustrating when you're looking online and you're just trying to find that perfect thing. Maybe you want to make something for uh, Christmas, you know, to give out to people. STL Flix would be a really, really cool option for that. 
just so you can sign up for the $15 a month for your own personal use and you can kind of give gifts out and things. But if you're looking to sell things, like I said, that work and you don't have to worry about the commercial rights to it, they've got it absolutely covered. And it's honestly like a little burst of Christmas energy once or twice a week when I go to STL Flix and I look to see if they have any new drops and they do. It's always very fun and very exciting to see what am I gonna end up making next because I did not expect to see like Wii controller mounts like this. And so I tested it and it works extremely well. I almost forgot this one. They did a release, and all of our RC guys should love this, of I think five or six different jets, airplanes, and helicopters in this kind of flat card format. And you can, I actually want it to be uh, scaled up much bigger than this, but I scaled it down to almost a credit card size, and you punch out the pieces of the jet. It's called a kit card. There's the jet, and then it has a mount, and there's the bottom of the jet, the fins, and you can put that little guy on display. I think that is extremely cool. I got super pumped when I saw those because I can print those off. I could sell them on my store if I wanted to, or I could give them away to my friends. If I go to an event, I could print a bunch of these and have a bunch in my pocket and pass them out. Just really cool. I absolutely love that jet. What STL Flix has done though, is just taken a really cool subscription-based model and given a ton of files. Most of the Patreon people that I find that give you their files commercially tend to charge about 10 to 15, maybe $20 or more a month. And they'll give you a welcome pack of like 10 to 20 files. But then if you wanna buy all of the other files that they've made and continually make, you get like a 40% off discount. You still have to pay for them individually. I like STL Flix because instant access to the entire library and they offer their own filament. I don't know if this deal is still going on or not, but here's what I did. This is how I tested STL Flix. I bought two rolls. This is the promotion they had going on. They said if you buy any two rolls of their filament, which was fairly priced, I think they were like 12, 15 bucks a roll, something like that. I just got bone collar, beige, and then a brown. I paid for both of these, got them delivered in like a week or so, and I had one free month or a 30 day free trial to STL Flix. So I don't know if that promotion is still going on or not, but that's exactly what I did to try try it out, which was basically I got, you know, I got the files for free pretty much. So um, a fair price of filament and then I got all these files for 30 days. So that we'll have STL Flix linked in the description box below. Uh, just so you know, that link isn't connected to us in any way or anything. So this is just, a, I just wanted to make a video about STL Flix because they're a really cool company bringing really cool files. I hope you guys appreciated seeing this video, these files, these things that I've printed. Letting, uh, let me know if you ever heard about STL Flix in the comments. Have you been on the fence? Did this video help in any way? Because I love making content for 3D printers. And so I'm just trying something a little bit different by letting you guys know about a really cool website where you too can print things that are just really awesome. I mean, they have some stuff on there that is far beyond what I've printed here too. So it's definitely worth your time to check out if you haven't seen them before. And remember, if you buy a couple spools of filament, you basically get a free trial. So you just can't beat that. I wanna say a massive thanks to God for blessing me with the time to jump in front of the camera and share this moment, this experience with you guys. And a massive thanks to our Patreon supporters because we couldn't do what we do as often as we do it without your insanely awesome support. If you wanna see more content on 3D printer goodness, we'll have a hand-picked video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching, we'll see you there. Bye.